morning, friends and foes. It's another day. What is it today? What is it? Thursday. Thursday. One more day to the weekend. One more day. But who knows? We may be trucking on Saturday too, and that's okay. At least we got something to do. So I've got a roll tight flat behind me. I've got to go pick up about 20 feet of freight over in Toulon, bring it back here. And then I thought I might be going down to Minnesota tonight. Uh, or today after I get back. Looks like that plan may change. We'll see when I get back. I may just be going into Winnipeg to pick something up for one of our highway drivers. Yeah. Main thing what I do, at least during the week here, is I go around the region and I, I collect a bunch of freight and I bring it back here to our yard. And one of our highway drivers, the same kind of job that I used to do, the highway drivers will take the trailer and book it on down, usually to the US or wherever the freight is going to deliver them. That way they don't have to eat up their e-log time because we're only allowed to drive and be on duty for a certain amount of time a week. And if they have to go and pick up this freight, sometimes I have to sit there for a couple of hours waiting to pick up the freight. Well, that comes off of their 70 hour clock. And that's less time that they can be working out there on the highway. They lose money that way. That was, so, so I go along with a couple of others of us here. There's like one, two, three, four, five of us city drivers, I think, five or six? Six, I think, now, we got a new guy. Six. And we gather everything, we bring it here, and then the highway guys don't have to waste their time on it. it. Gives us something to do, and it makes their life easier. Also, when they get home from a trip, they don't may not have the hours left to go deliver it, or maybe they just wanna go home and spend time with their family after being on the road for a few weeks. Yeah, they bring it here to the yard, and then I'll hook onto it, and I'll go deliver it. Because sometimes at these deliveries, same thing as pickups. Sometimes you gotta wait a couple of hours to get unloaded, and it's a big hassle. It's just easier if they can go home to their family, makes their life easier, and uh, I'll go deliver it. If you're new here and you wanna know more about me, in the description of this video and all my videos, it explains everything there is to know about me. There's also uh, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can find that all down below in the description. The social media I use the most is Facebook. I'm on Twitter, but I don't like Twitter. I don't use it much. Every time I go on Twitter, it just frustrates me. Instagram, I use Instagram quite a bit. I post my thumbnails for my videos there every day and then I post the, the link to my latest video in my bio on Instagram. Uh, what else is there? Snapchat, don't use it. I use it to snap my friends that I know personally every now and then, don't really use But it is down there if you wanna follow me there. Maybe one day it'll take off. I also have a TikTok that I don't use. So what I'm saying is I pretty much just use Facebook and YouTube. But whatever you want to follow me on, it's all down below in the description of this video. While you're down below the video reading that and you pass the subscribe button, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. Hudson's Bay there up north. That's 
a nightmare. <laughs> but we make it work. That's what we do, we're transportation. We'll get it there. So with that piece being brought back to the yard, it's gonna be combined with something else going to the Alberta area. I think uh, we take it to Alberta and from there, someone takes it up of the Alaska Highway to a lot. I'm pretty sure, I'm not part of that line of the chain here. My, my part is done. I picked it up from the shipper, brought it to our yard where uh, the next chain of, the next link of the chain will take it from there and get it up there. So for now, I'm hooked up to a big old box trailer, a van trailer actually. It's very exciting. I haven't been a, a van driver in a while. Backed into the dock here, just on the north side of Winnipeg. A little bit of gravy for this afternoon. I always wonder, why do they call them van trailers? I've been driving since 2006, and you know, I still don't know that answer. Should we ask Google right now? Should we ask her together? All right. One second. Let's ask her. <clears throat> why are van trailers called van trailers? It gave me a bunch of uh, trailer dealerships to buy a trailer. One second. <clears throat> Why is it called a van trailer? Here is Fleet Stop Trailers Limited. <laughs> Why is it called a van trailer? She doesn't want to tell me. She wants me to read it myself. <clears throat> it says, what is a van trailer? A dry van is a type of semi-trailer that's fully enclosed to protect shipments from outside elements. It's also called dry van trailer or box trailer. Dry vans can be used for a variety of less than truckload or LTL or whole truckload shipments. You don't say. You could fill it right up or you could not fill it right up. It's good for both. Thanks Google for that bit of information. Very, very good. Now, why do they call it a van trailer? What does van mean in trucking? Same thing. Why is it called a van trailer? I gotta figure this out. I have to figure this out. Why is it called a van trailer? Here we go. Dry van trailers named for their ability to protect goods from rain and the elements. In general, these fully enclosed semi-trailers are used to haul many different types of goods and materials. That 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 doesn't answer my question, Google. Why is it called a van trailer? Hmm. Ah, doesn't uh doesn't want to answer my question. Google always has the answers though. Huh. Let's ask her one more time, okay? Come on, Google, don't disappoint me. Why is a van trailer referred to as a van trailer? Nothing. Well, I think it's safe to say we have stumped Google. I don't know why they call that a van trailer, because when I hear the word van, I think of minivans. You know? Isn't that, is that what you think of? Because when I was a kid, I remember my dad used to always tell me, you know, he hauled vans. Uh, it was way back in the day, uh, he had he hauled three pup trailers uh, behind sort of like highway trains today, except a little short, a little different. But he always referred to them as vans. Yeah, I haul vans. And in my child brain, I thought that my dad was hauling minivans around. And so when he took me to see his truck once, I, I still remember looking at it and wondering, well, where are the vans? until he had to explain it to me and say, no, a van trailer is just a box trailer. Why would you call it a van trailer and confuse me then? Right? I was all, all confused. So have you ever had that moment? Was there a moment in your life, in your childhood, or maybe in your adulthood? That's all right if you didn't grow up around trucks, if you're just learning this today, a box trailer is called a van trailer. A little bit of a shorter video today. Not much going on. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I'd love to see into the future? Let me give you a sneak peek of the future for you. Huh? 
Not gonna tell you where I am or what I'm doing though, but uh, this weekend we got some overnights coming up on the road here, so I'm not gonna tell you where we're going. Uh, we will start on that tomorrow. Today's video was a little bit short and whatnot, and I still haven't figured out the origin of the word van trailer and why we call it van trailer. I'm sure that I could learn something from you guys about it down below in my comments section while you're down there. A little bit of a short video today, but tomorrow uh, you'll be... Tomorrow I'll explain what I'm doing in this wonderful Kenworth T680. This thing is a condo on wheels. I don't want to show you too much now because you'll see it on the weekend, but... Wow! Really nice truck. I'm really excited to drive it and I'm excited to show it to you. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you tomorrow.